Welcome over to Automotive World, everyone. I am your host, Vinny Mystery, and we have sales figures for a Honda and Acura, and we have some good news. We're going to go through here. We're going to do our deep dive for both Honda and Acura, but sales figures for Honda and Acura are both up right now. We've got some pretty promising results, and we've also got some other results as well, which you know, might get our heads kind of scratching a little bit. So we're going to go through all this and we're going to do a deep dive. This is going to be pretty long as we are doing both Honda and Acuras and just because of the amount of models that they have. So this is going to be a pretty long video. Sit down, relax, pause the video if you need to go use the bathroom or something, get some drinks and all that, get some snacks because we're going to be here for, we're going to be here for a hot minute. Let's start off with our main headlines. Honda America sales total 116,586 units. That's resulting in a second best sales month of 2024. Some headlines from Honda up here. Honda sales obviously being up year over to year. 15.7%. Honda electrified sales exceeded 21,000 units with CRV hybrid and Accord hybrid achieving a 41 or 46 and a 51% model mix respectively so those two were the top sellers for that and those obviously you know were you know that was the mix between the two clearly most people are buying the accord hybrid but the crv is not is just up there with it too all electric prologue uh initial sales are going to start as well arriving in dealerships last few days of april so we'll get some more numbers there there are going to be a few anomalies in this crv sales topping thirty thousand units for the third straight month so CRV, absolutely killing it. HRV topping 13,000 units in sales, up 45% year over year, second best month of the year. So not only is CRV killing it, HRV is absolutely killing it as well. It's absolutely showing up and giving it performance. Pilot sales momentum continue with the new stable, you know, with more stable inventory, trail sport models up to 11,800 units. So Pilot is having some good sales right now. And the Civic sales topping 20,000 for a third straight month, second best month of 2024, up 35% year over year. So the Civic is still doing really well. I do want to know, I would assume probably it's probably going to include Civic Type R sales, but we'll have to see about that. But Civic is still, still doing really well, even for our headlines for Acura. Acura sales is the brand topping 10,500 10 units in April, second best month of 2024. MDX and the RDX remain the strongest SUV sales, nearing 8,000 units for RDX. Uh, and or, I'm sorry, SUV sales nearing 8,000 units, and the RDX is a 44% year over year. So really, really solid sales there for Acura, for MDX, and RDX. And and the new Integra, it's back. You know, April sales topping 2,400 units. Not bad, not bad at all. And then also we have the all electric models from Acura, the ZDX and the ZDX Type S, which are actually going to be arriving today at dealers and this is from their article for their sales may 1st of 2024 so there's going to be a few anomalies in here but we're going to get into it um, we can see here honda's got a pretty good chart here in total they're up to 400 over 450,000 vehicles sold year to date that's a 12.4 percent jump the cars are up to over 150,000 that's a 7.1 percent jump Trucks are over, over 300,000. This is obviously going to be your body on frame SUVs and things like your Ridgeline and things, Passport, things like that. Those are over 15.3% jump, you know, 300,000. Clearly, we can see those, you know, the pilots and those SUVs are just absolutely just killing Honda cars and sales, just absolutely responsible for just, they're just printing money, absolutely printing money. Accurate, too. Total sales are down 12.5% on the cars and their truck-based, you know, SUV-based vehicles. Car platforms are down 26.2% and trucks are down 51%. Um, these are year-to-date sales. And then, you know, we come back to Honda over here. Um, you know, we have Honda America numbers right here. And then this is going to be, you know, Honda Global. Honda Global sales are up as well, respectively, total 15.7%. Cars are 11.6 and the trucks are 18%. It's pretty interesting though for Acura with year to date sales, um, despite having really, really good months for certain units, uh, even in their year to date sales, they're still down. And even when we come to now April sales, Honda in April total up 0.4% with both cars and trucks. 
The car sales were 37,430 total. That's down 7.8% for Honda. But truck sales, being those SUVs in the Ridgeline, 79,156 units. That's up 4.8%. So in total, Honda is still up 0.4%. Not bad. Some growth, very, very marginal, um, but not bad. Acura, though, despite, like I said, despite second best month of April and, you know, RDX being up 44%, Acura is struggling right now. Acura is absolutely bleeding right now, bleeding money. Total cars, total vehicles sold down 20.7%. At 10,544 units. Car sales, only selling 2,984 cars, not even cracking 3,000. That's down 40%. That's huge. Acura is bleeding right now. Despite how good, you know, like I said, MDX and RDX were doing, the, the SUV sales, despite those units, despite the RDX up 44% year over year. Only selling 7,560 units for trucks, not down 9.3%. You come over to April, Honda Global. I mean, Honda's up 3.2% total. Cars are down 33 but then trucks are up 66 But man, Acura, both in year to date and the month of April. Man, Acura is, despite all of this, despite the good press and the growth year over year, Acura is bleeding right now. And it's not even a little bit. It's not even a paper cut. It's, a, it's not even a bullet wound. It's a few bullet wounds that Acura is bleeding on. This is not good at all. What just happened to my mouse here. This is not good at all. Let's get into the numbers now. Honda's chart is pretty comprehensive. It can be a little confusing. This is the part of the video, like I said, we're gonna be here for a while. So sit down, relax, get ready. Here we go. Uh, total sales here, we kind of covered a lot of these sales here. We're actually gonna skip out on, really we're gonna skip out actually on a lot of this here. We'll kind of come back to it a little bit, but we're gonna go over the models essentially. Um, we can see here with the cord, you know, we can see here we have the breakdown division total. Um, you know, Accord for the most part, uh, division total right now is down. And we can see here these are our month to date sales. This is for April, for last year. This is this year. So Honda Accord sales are down from over 19,000 last year to just 12,000 this year for Accord. That is down. 33.2%. Uh, Civic is currently up at over 40, 40.5% from 16,000 change last year to over 22,000 this year. The Clarity, no more. CRV up 5.5%. Uh, HRV up 55% from almost 9,000 last year to over 13,000 this year. So CRV and HRV really, really strong. The Honda Odyssey is still making pretty decent sales. 7,314 last year. This year, 7,325. It's up 4.2%. It's not really a growth, but hey, something is better than nothing. Honda is still showing up. Passport. This is going to be, you know, the Passport. <laughs> the Passport and the Ridgeline really do need to be updated. The, the Pilot just looks so good now with the new engine and the new exterior and the new interior. So we're gonna see sales be lower on the Passport and the Ridgeline. I think it's just purely because also the the, the new Pilot is a lot cheaper than the Passport, which doesn't make any sense. It's a bigger vehicle as a seven seater. Um, Honda is really shooting themselves in the foot with the new Pilot because it's better than the new Ridgeline and the Passport. It's bigger, it looks nicer, better tech, it's cheaper, better engine, more power, more fuel efficient, still with a V6. Um, so passport sales are down from 4 4255 last year to 2744 this year. That's down a lot. That's down 32.9%. Pilot sales are up 24.2% from almost 10,000 last year to be at almost now 12,000 this year at 11,882. Prologue sales Zero as of last year in 2023, 93 this year. So we don't really have a change for that. Ridgeline sales, selling 4,903 last year, down 16.2%, only selling 3,949 this year. 
like I said, I think that's just purely due to the new pilot. It looks better on the outside. The inside has more power, more fuel efficient, V6. It's cheaper than both the Passport and the Ridgeline. It's more comfortable. It's seven seater. Honestly, if you're going in, I, unless you wanted like a separate dedicated truck bed, I see no reason as to why for most people, because even if you buy the HPD trims and all that, these aren't really true off-road vehicles that Honda's is really doing. I see no reason why you would want to buy a Passport or a Ridgeline right now over a Honda Pilot. I just, I don't see the reasoning for it. Uh, when we come over to Acura, for ILX, it's no more. Obviously, you know, sadly the ILX was discontinued as the Integra is the new entry level. Um, the Integra sales are down 26.1%. Selling 3,394 last year in the month of April. This year, 2,413. Integra sales are down big time. NSX sales. Obviously, NSX is being discontinued. Rest in peace to the NSX. Hopefully, we get it back one day again. Um, it was good to have it back while it lasted. When it came out, it was a bit of an interesting car, but it's a bit overpriced, and there were a lot of vehicles still you know, nicer than it. But it was nice to have the nameplate back. Hopefully, it returns soon. TLX. TLX is, is it's dying. It's it's on the way out. It's dead. It's you know for the month of for the month of April last year they sold over fifteen hundred units. This year they only sold five hundred and seventy one. That is down sixty two point three percent. Like I said, Acura isn't just bleeding. It's not just a paper cut. It's not just a bullet a bullet wound. It's it's a few bullet wounds. Acura is not only being shot. They're being shot a good five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. It is, I mean, if you were Honda right now, Acura is absolutely just losing you money. It is just, um, it, it's like a boat going down, a sunken boat. It is just a money pit. Um, MDX. Despite MDX and RDX having pretty solid sales figures, MDX is down 25.9%, selling 500 and, or, or I'm sorry, 5,758 last year, only down to 4,101 units this year. 25.9%, that is a huge, huge loss. Uh, RDX sales, at least those went up over, you know, 39.8% gain, selling 200 or 2,573 last year, 3,459 this year. Uh, so Acura, man, Acura overall, they are just, they're struggling. Despite, you know, the headlines up here, you know, having some solid year-over-year -year sales, I mean, Acura is just absolutely absolutely bleeding right now um and when we come to the year to date sales it gets worse we're gonna start off with these you know this part right here we'll come back up to the top here in a second we don't really need to go over the top too much as we kind of went over it but we'll still go over it a little bit but man they are absolutely bleeding right now when it comes to honda's year to date sales uh for the accord Still down 13.4% year to, you know, the year, the year over year change, uh, you know, is, you know, we could argue, you know, with the daily selling rate, it's down 13.4%. Year over year change is 12.5%. Selling over 62,000 last year, this year we're at 54 and change. Uh, with the Civic, Civic sales are up year over year, which correlates with the strong growth for the month to month sales. Um, month to date sales, you know, selling over almost sixty two thousand last year. This year we're at almost eighty four thousand eight eighty three thousand nine hundred seventy two. That's a thirty five point seven percent jump year to date sales. Uh, CRV twenty eight and a half percent jump, selling just under a hundred thousand uh, vehicles last year. We're at over close to a hundred and thirty thousand vehicles at one hundred twenty seven thousand two hundred seventy. Super super strong growth there. HRV super strong growth as well, 45% year you know year, year over year, just about almost 35,000, 35 and a half thousand last year. We're at over 51,000 this year. Probably get to 52 easily. Um, Honda Odyssey down a little bit, 9.2%, selling 27,216 last year. Right now we're at 24,718. And it's you know it's just for Honda Odyssey, it's just not looking good. For Passport, we are down, like I said, we are down. The Pilot is killing it. I don't know why Honda 
is waiting to update the ridge line and the pilot it they should not be doing this they are bleeding money on those two vehicles for no reason passport from 15,674 vehicles last year down to just ten and a half thousand this year 10,499 they're one unit away that's a 33 percent decrease honda what are you doing you've already updated the pilot it's the same platform just update the passport and the ridge line um you know when it comes to the pilot selling 34,653 vehicles last year we're just under 42,000 vehicles that's a 21 percent growth uh no more prologue or i'm sorry there is a pro i'm sorry there is a prologue but obviously it wasn't out last year so we don't really have a change for that and then the ridge line it's it's down 14 and a half percent like i said it's just because honda for whatever reason has wanted to update the pilot and doesn't want to update the passport on the ridge line which literally both those vehicles are literally built off of don't know why Honda's not doing it. I don't know why Honda is waiting, um, but they are bleeding there. The numbers get worse. <laughs> the numbers get worse. We come down to Acura. Last year, they sold two Calum 2 ILXs. This year, they sold zero, so that's a 100% decrease. Integra sold 11,100 last year. Sold, we're, we're just under 9,000 this year. It's a 19.8% decrease. It's almost a 20% decrease. NSX, like I said, is no more. They sold five last year. We don't have it this year. It's 100%. It's gone. TLX, it's another model. It's, you know, it's it's almost like it's on the way out. Uh, down 39.6%, selling just a little bit over 5,000, close to 5,300 last year. This year we're at 3,201. Uh, when we come to the MDX, it doesn't really get any better. Tw almost 21,000 last year. This year we're at 15,242. It's a 27.4% decrease. The only gain, <laughs> the only gain that Acura had is the RDX, 44.7%. They sold just under 10,000 last year at 9,382. This year, they're at 13,576. Honda is still selling Accord and Civic like crazy. Honda is still one of the OEMs that still sell sedans really, really well like crazy. Honda is in a bit of trouble though. The Civic is doing fine. I'm not worried about the Civic. Um, however, the Accord is going down. Not looking good for a cord. They need to see how they can salvage that. But sedan sales as a whole are going down. For the rest of Honda, it's looking pretty good. The only other parts that are down from Honda, Odyssey is going to go down just because it's a minivan. You know, people are preferring the seven, eight seaters. The only two concerns for Honda nameplate vehicles is Ridgeline and Passport. And the only thing Honda has to do is do what they did with the Pilot. The Pilot is the vehicle for the Ridgeline and the Passport. All they need to do is give the Passport and the Ridgeline the same upgrade. Exterior, interior, they have the vehicle ready. They just, they're just they not doing it. To me, it's like they're being lazy. It's a very solvable problem, so I'm not worried about the Passport and the Ridgeline. As like I said, they literally are the pilot. The Ridgeline just has the bed. The Passport is the five-seater. So as soon as Honda decides, okay, we're going to take the everything from the pilot, like how we always do, put the engine in there, give it a new exterior, new interior, the Ridgeline and the Passport will be just fine. But man, oh man, Acura. What do I, where, where do, where do we even begin if we are Acura? Acura at this point, Acura is kind of looking like Fisker right now. Acura is, like I said, they're not just bleeding. Acura didn't just get shot. They got shot six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. Acura is getting hit by RPGs and ballistic missiles. Man, oh man. Acura isn't just like. Acura is literally burning money on fire. If I am Honda, 
if I'm the executives at Honda and Acura, Honda's okay. Accord, they can try to salvage it. It's still selling strong. Like I said, Passport Ridgeline just need to get the update that they're the bigger brother pilot that they always, you know, that vehicle was built off of. That's a very simple fix. Honda really has no issues. But if I am a Honda executive, I am freaking out. I am losing my mind. I am livid. I am swearing because Acura is just like it's one thing to have a lost leader to bring somebody into the dealership but then you recoup it on another model Acura is just taking losses in general there's not a single other than the rdx which isn't even the rdx isn't even the best seller it's not even the best selling model Acura is Acura is honestly they're working against honda Acura is just burning money. They're literally seeing money. They're like, let's, let's set it on fire. Let's throw it in the ocean. If I am the Honda executives, I am freaking out right now. Because Acura is, and this isn't the first time, Acura has been going down this route. You know, Acura has always been trying to compete with, you know, Lexus and even like Count Nissan, you know, and with Infiniti and all that. Infiniti even has been showing some promising signs. But let me tell you something. Acura is... Acura as a brand as a whole right now, honestly, if I'm seeing these numbers, like the fate of Acura right now, Acura is in some serious trouble. I, I truly mean Acura is like Fisker right now. Acura, where do you even begin? The model that's supposed to be the entry level model, the Halo car, to bring people back into the dealership, the Integra, the legendary Integra is struggling. It's down month, month to month, year over year. It's down. It is not looking good for Acura right now. It's not. It, it really, really, it's not looking good for Acura right now. Um, if, like I said, if I'm the Honda executives over at Acura, I am freaking out right now because it's just not looking good. Even, even despite Acura's, you know, electrified vehicle sales being up. Honda's electrified, you know, vehicle sales being, you know, down. It's it's not good. It's just not good. Um, man, man, oh man. Yeah, I mean, we look at, you know, it's the Acura division. I mean, it's Honda sales. For, Honda sales are great, but the electrified vehicle, I mean, obviously, is a total. Keep in mind, you know, they, they combine them between the two. But like I said, if I'm Acura, we've got problems. Because if you look at the rest of Honda's numbers, I mean, Honda's numbers here, you know, total car sales, truck sales up. Then you look at Acura's numbers, all down. Honda's numbers, all up. We're up here, ten and a half percent, eleven and a half percent. We're up here, eighteen percent. Acura sales down. Uh, man. Like I said, Acura needs some serious help right now. The fate of Acura is honestly hanging right now. Um, Acura right now needs to shoot up the flare. Call nine one one. Acura is sending out a, an SOS call right now because. Honda, you are losing tons of money off of Acura. Even though the RDX is the only profitable model, it's not even the best-selling model. Honestly, there, even though this model went up because it's not the best-selling model, there's nothing. There is no positives about Acura here. This is like like watching a basketball game and both the teams shoot equally terrible, but there's obviously a winner. Yeah, somebody won, but realistically, there's no winners. There is no winners there because you know in the next matchup they're gonna get killed, and that's what this is here. Uh, the RDX is the one. The one standout, it's the one anomaly, but there Acura is not a winner right now. There is no winners in Acura, and this this is bad. Um, I don't know how Honda is gonna fix it. I mean, they tried with the NSX, and that was pretty much a failed experiment. The Integra right now is a failed experiment. Um, I don't even know if bringing back a hatchback or, or not even a hatchback, but like a coupe version of the Integra, a two-door version, I don't even know if that would solve it. Um, 
the TLX is it's on the way. It's down. MDX is down. It's if I'm if I am accurate, I don't know how you solve that. But Acura is sending out an SOS right now, and honestly, that's gonna conclude it for our video. Despite the news, Honda's doing great. Honda just has to just do what they did with the Pilot, and they've already done it. It's what they do every year. The Passport and the, the Ridgeline are built off the Pilot. Just finally update the Passport and the Pilot, and Honda will be good. The only bad part of Honda would have been Accord is slightly down, but they're still selling like 50,000, 60,000 units. Odyssey, Odyssey is slightly down, but... <sighs> Acura. A Acura is literally... Acura is on the verge of they're 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 on the verge of death. I I hate to say it, but they they're on the verge. I'm telling you, Acura is sending out an SOS call right now. Um, that's gonna do it for our video, everyone. Let me know what you guys think of these numbers, especially if you're an Acura owner. Let me know what you think, not only of your car, but like if you've had issues or just like how you feel with the service of you know how they treat you as a customer. And if you are an Acura fan. Let me know what you guys think of these numbers because I'm really sad and disappointed to see these type of numbers, especially when they've tried to bring back nameplates to re you know revitalize the brand. Um, if you guys like these type of videos, let me know down in the comments down below. If you give us a like and a subscribe, it really just helps us reach so much a, a much more larger audience. Um, so if you could give us a like, you know, a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, it really helps us out here over at Automotive World. That's gonna do it for now though. Thanks for watching, everyone.